In today's video, I'm going to show you where and how to download the Rode Central application so that you can manage your Rode Wireless Go 2 microphones. We'll also cover some of the quick settings that you can find inside that application and how to upgrade your firmware. Hey, and welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is FM Moses Blacksburg. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more information about videography, equipment, live streaming, and more, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button below. In today's quick video, I wanted to cover the Rode Wireless Go 2, a brand new wireless microphone system from Rode that replaces the Model 1 and has way more features. So let's talk about, first of all, feature number one, the application that comes along with these microphones. Rode Rode has an app called the Rode Central app, and in order to download that application, you can head on over to Rode.com and you can start to type in either the Wireless Go 2 into the search box, and you can go that way, or you can click on it in their main panel up here on the website. Now once you're on the Wireless Go 2 page, scroll down to Downloads, and Downloads takes you all the way to the bottom of the page, and now you will find the Rode Central app for both Mac and Windows. Since I'm on a Mac, I'm going to download the Mac version, and you can go ahead and enter in your email address and then hit the download button. Once you have the Rode Central app installed, it's going to look a little bit something like this. So when you first open it up, all you need to do is take one of your Rode microphones, whether it's the transmitter or the receiver, and plug it into the USB cable. Once the microphone, whether it's the transmitter or receiver, is plugged in, you'll then get a notification that there is an update required. So this is the new firmware that Rode just recently released, and we're going to select Update. The update only takes about 30 to 60 seconds. It's a very quick process. And then once that update is done, you'll be able to access all of the information and settings in the Rode Central application. Now that our update is complete, it lets us know that the firmware update is ready to go and you may now use this device with the Rode Central application. I'll click Done, and now that we have our wireless receiver plugged in, we can see a whole bunch more information about it. So we've got our Wireless Go plugged in, so we see that in the left-hand column. And then up here we have some options, so we can see backlight, whether that's on or off, that's a setting you can change from right here. The gain mode, so you can set it to coarse or fine. What's really nice about that is now you can adjust the gain in different increments. So before, when it's on coarse, you basically just have a low, medium, and high option. But if you go to the fine adjustment, you can now go by decibels and you can change the decibel levels from here in a much more fine-tuned way. So this is something that's a great feature for some of the more advanced professionals that want to be able to adjust the sound levels in the wireless receiver. You also have a mode. So you can switch between a split or a merged mode for your recording. And you can also, when you have that on the merged option, you can select to do a safety channel. So basically what a safety channel is, is it will record your same recording at a lower decibel or a lower volume so that if the person's audio is clipping, you can actually recover that audio and have a completely separate file that is not totally clipping that you can use in your edits. And then the last option here is for the backlight and you can turn that on to marker or off. And once we're down here in this bottom segment, we can see the battery level. Right now I'm charged up to 96%. I can set the device time, so the clock, and you can actually hit this little reset. And this will basically check and say, okay, what time is it? Is it the same as the internal clock? Let's go ahead and update that. You have your firmware version number and your hardware ID. None of that information is going to be all that important. So now that I have this one updated, we've got a couple more devices, so I'm going to unplug this real quick. No need to eject. It will just simply disappear from the app. And let's plug in another one. As soon as that's plugged in, it's letting me know that there is an update required as well. And I'm just going to hit update. And again, it should only take somewhere in the neighborhood of about 30 to 90 seconds for this update process to go through. Once that update is complete, we get a very similar window that lets us know the firmware update is completed. And this is for the transmitter. So this is a little bit different than the receiver. The options aren't going to be the same. The transmitter, there's really nothing that's going to be set on here. It's just letting you know that the firmware is up to date, but you're not going to have the same settings as you did on the receiver. 
Make sure that you hit the little settings gear off to the side, and then you will be able to see some more information over here. You can have the option for record turned on, and this is one of the newer features that came out with the most recent software update. What this does is this will record internally in case that there is a dropout. So if you had somebody walk behind a wall or their signal might be dropping out because they're too far away from you, this device will now record audio internally, which is a fantastic feature that most microphones Phones don't have these days. You can also now use this as a microphone recorder with the latest update without needing to have the receiver. You can just have the transmitter, you can turn it on, it will start recording right away, and you're off to the races. You can also see a mute lock button, which you can turn on or off, and then you've got your battery indicator. Now, with the recording options, you have a standard quality, which is compressed, or you can select uncompressed broadcast quality. This is going to change the amount amount of hours that you can record for, you still get somewhere in the neighborhood of seven hours internally with the broadcast quality. And then with standard quality, you can go for well over 40 hours. So these are the settings that you can adjust on the TX, also known as the transmitter. This is the device that has the microphone built into it. This has been a quick video on the Rode Central application doing firmware updates on the brand new Rode Wireless Go microphones. If you like this video and you want to check out more, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and we will see you in our next video.